This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read and recorded by Noam Yogev. Fables for the Frivolous by Guy Wetmore Carroll. The Arrogant Frog and the Superior Bull. Once, on a time and in a place conducive to malaria, there lived a member of the race of Rana Temporaria, or, more concisely still, a frog inhabited a certain bog. A bull of Probdinangian size, too proud for condescension, one morning chanced to cast his eyes upon the frog I mention, and, being to the manner born, surveyed him with a lofty scorn. Perceiving this, the Bactrian's frame with anger was inflated, till, growing larger, he became egregiously elated, for inspiration's sudden spell had pointed out a way to swell. Ha-ha! he proudly cried. A fig for this, you mammoth torso! Just watch me while I grow as big as you, or, or even more so! To which maniloquential gush, his bullship simply answered, Tush! Alas, the frog's success was slight, which really was a wonder, in view of how with main and might he strove to grow rotunder, and, standing patiently the while, the bull displayed a quiet smile. But, ah, the frog tried once too oft, and, doing so, he busted, whereat the bull discreetly coughed and moved away, disgusted as well he might, considering the wretched taste that marked the thing. The moral, everybody knows how ill a wind it is that blows. End of the Arrogant Frog and the Superior Bull